I've never been so happy to see a starship part in all my life, but I'm even happier to see you in one piece. Security wasn't exactly tight. See? Sometimes good things happen to you. I have to hand it to you, Captain. You not only took care of business, but you made Skavik look like a fool. I'm getting pretty good at tripping up Skavik. The only women Skavik understands are brainless tarts. You must be tilting his galaxy. I'm glad we're done here. It's funny. I can't help thinking Nokdrayan would have hated this world as much as I do. Legend is, Nok was descended from royal blood. They say that's how he got to be king of the galactic underworld before he died. How did this guy wind up worm food? Every spacer, pirate, and gangster from Abrogado Ray to Yavin has a theory. Some say he was shot in the back by a Rodian. Anyone who actually knew Nok will tell you that's ridiculous. Others say he was killed by his most trusted lieutenant. A few say he died in his sleep. What do you think happened to him? I think the galaxy is full of people with too much time on their hands. I try to ignore them. It won't take long to wire the Arcanian hyperdrive to the ship's engines and the anti-radiation shield will be a snap to build. Is there some way I can pitch in? Like hold my hydro spanner? No, Captain. But thanks for offering. I'll have those upgrades online and wait. Hang on. Oh, this ought to be good. Hello, Skavik. How's tricks? Just fantasizing about killing you and your friends, sweetheart. Want to hear the details? We don't want to hear your fantasies, laser brains. That's all right. I'll be acting them out soon enough. Haven't you learned yet, Skavik? Cheaters never win. We're leaving Alderaan with all the prizes, and you're, well, stuck being you. Have fun while it lasts, kids. The end of the ride's coming soon. You know that old saying, it never rains but it pours? Today it's pouring hollow calls. I'm getting one from Tatooine of all places. Jiren, I haven't seen you in forever. I'd love to catch up, but this isn't the best time. Someone took Aldila. Said I'll get her back in pieces if you don't come. Pieces! You have to help me. This guy a friend of yours? I've known him and his wife since we were kids. Jiren, I won't let anything happen to you or Aldila. Calm down and start over. When I came home from work, uh, Ardila was gone. There was a man waiting for me. He said, unless you want to be responsible for Ardila's death, you'll meet him at an old Zerka mining complex in the Chini Rift. I don't understand, Risha. Why is this happening? It's a trap, obviously. But my odds of surviving and getting Ardila back alive are a lot better if you help me spring it. You better have a good plan. Duran, stay on this hollow frequency. Let me get in touch with some contacts. We have to play this smart. Alright, I dug up everything I could about the Chini Rift and that Zerka mining complex. I'd say we've got a 50-50 shot at coming back alive. You know what always improves the odds? Cheating. I already factored in cheating. You should have seen the original odds. Genie Rift has more holes in it than a chunk of Biss cheese. The Zerka mining complex sits over a network of caverns. Zerka sealed the complex's mine shaft when they left, but didn't bother with the ore processing chute. You can use that to get inside. And then what? That man will kill Ardila if we try anything. I'll keep this mysterious kidnapper distracted by surrendering to him, while my friend sneaks up behind. I don't like this. Using women for bait? What kind of man allows that? Will you get over your issues with women? I don't have issues. I was raised to look after a woman, no matter how tough you are. Uh, I meant they are. I was speaking generally. What can I do to help? Nothing. I'm not explaining to Adila how I got you killed. Just wait outside and be ready to give her a kiss. I marked a route through the caverns to the ore chute, Captain. I'll give you a head start to get in position, 